Well, um, having received that kind of a news, you know, the, the goodwill that I was greeted with, the words of encouragement, you know, from people who called and sent messages, was very much touching. And then the second thing was to go on some form of retreat. Yeah. Retreat and think about what lies ahead, what is next to do, and thinking about the new area in which it is created. And I'm sure you are all familiar with um, Casina. Some of you have gone to Casina stage and are familiar with the terrain, a very interesting place, a place of hospitality, a place of uh, uh, indigenous uh, Hausa people, and a place that has so much potentials. In fact, if you, um, I'm sure you are familiar with the the population or the demography of Casena, you know, even though we, it's a predominantly uh, Muslim state, but we have a little percentage of Christians, particularly in the southern part of Casena. And you come to that southern part of Casena, and you see that there's a mix of families, you know, there are, or from different religions. There are some who are traditionalists, there are some who are Muslims, there are some who are Christians, you know, within that same family. So as a result, through history, we have had a relationship, you know, a relationship that you may refer to as the dialogue of life, you know, constantly relating, you know, with them, relating on family level, relating on economic level in the marketplace, relating together in work such as agriculture, you know, and all. So, but, you know, with the creation of this diocese, the Catholic Diocese of Casena, all we need to do is to consolidate this relationship that has already been existent.